what's going on guys welcome back we are back again as i said schedule is on schedule okay today we're gonna be reacting to two episodes of death note 11 and 12 okay so be ready we are here hope you guys are enjoying the series reaction so far um then we're gonna jump into this episode, man. We already know the sauciness that's been going on. The sauceness is a sauciness or a sauceness that has been going on between L and Light. Um, so L decided to reveal himself to Light. Um, so they're wondering who um Light is now trying to do do backflips and stuff. Try this this kung fu brain stuff that is going on between these two men is it's awesome you know to see them go back and forth trying to say okay should i reveal this or should i you know what i'm saying like l is being pretty much like completely honest with light and he's whole he, he's holding back in a bit a bit well he really isn't holding back anything because any he, anything he's being he's like listen man i suspect you i think you're kira right so every time light tries to to play off of what he's what he's go, what is going on every time light tries to play off of it l is locking it down it's like that's exactly what kira would do <laughs> you know what i'm saying like why would i why would i do that you know what I'm saying? Why would I allow you to do that? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like that wouldn't help anybody because Light was Light was trying to suggest to him, hey, lock me in a room for for a week, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A couple of days and see what happens. If nobody if nobody dies, you know what I'm saying? If nobody dies, then you can say I'm not Kira. Right? And else shut it down. L shut it down. It's like that's not gonna help nobody. <laughs> it's not gonna help nobody. For all we know, you know, you have a way to do that without being you already killing people without being present. Without even being in the same place. So who's to say that he doesn't know the method of what you're using to kill? Which we all know what the method is, but he doesn't know. So logically, if you, if you really think about it, it doesn't help because you're killing people without being there. So it doesn't really make any difference if I lock you in a room because you could still kill people. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because L knows this. He knows this. And that's what I'm saying, man. He, he's The two of them is so smart, dude. It's, it's really hard to tell who's smarter of the two, um, you know at this moment but as the series go along you know i don't want to get into that debate i definitely don't so we're gonna jump into these two episodes man these two episodes two last episodes was dope the tennis match everything learning new information about these characters is always interesting man we're gonna jump into this one man episode 11 make sure to come back and check and check out the review after these two episodes man you already know what it is go watch the episodes get back Ouch. And watch a review. Sorry for hitting the mic. <laughs> Man. I've already taken a couple of enemies out of my top five to, to put... Um, to put Code Geass in there and Ippo in my top five. And Death Note is creeping the hell and it's, it's getting up there, man. Am I going to have to take out my beloved Bleach for one of the, for this, man? <sighs> I don't want to take out Bleach because I want them to finish that last they finish that last arc and they do it justice in the anime as in even though the last arc of bleach was very like i felt like it was rushed a bit 
I don't know, man. That note is too sauce, man. 12 episodes in, and I'm looking at this anime like the twist and turns, man. It's just, I couldn't take it. And my heart almost exploded when she revealed the shit on the TV. I'm like, why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But knowing how they're writing this anime, bro, and then the way how Light flipped it, you know what I'm saying? The way how he flipped it to make it seem like it's not really that. You know what I'm saying? That was dope, man. That that was dope. I don't even have much to say in this review more than I'm just amazed and I want to see more. This anime is so good, bro. It is so good. And it's not about kicking and punching. It's just if you love a good story and you love to think, this anime is for you. If you love to think, because I'm a person like this, like I love, like when people tell me stuff, I love to deduce it. I love to deduce it down to the, to the very, you know what I'm saying? To the very letter. That's the type of person I am. So it's like, I'm always reading in between the lines. What could this mean more than what it says on the surface? Like, that's me, man, on a whole. So it's just, man, this anime is... It's so good. It is so good, man. You guys already know that Naruto is my number one anime. If you haven't been around long enough to know, now you know. Naruto is my number one. I I don't think I don't think any anime is ever going to knock that out of the number one spot for me because it holds a special place with me, not just from reading the manga, watching the anime. It's just the life lessons that I've learned and I grew up with it, you know, especially to some of the toughest times in my life, you know what I'm saying? I could just go back, watch some Naruto, and just instantly I snap back into myself. It's like it, it it's a coping mechan mechanism for me too. So it just means a lot more to me than just you know maybe I should take it out of my top five and just put it in a special place where. There's not going to be an, I'm telling you guys right now, like no anime is ever going to mean as much to me as Naruto did. None. So it's going to hold on to the number one spot. As I said, I might just take it out of number one spot and just create a new top five because of all these fire animes that I'm watching and just say, you know what, Naruto, you have your special, you have a special tier on my list where you only exist in that stratosphere. Okay. So Maybe I should just do that. Um, but, man, this anime is good, man. Death Note. <laughs> the information that we've learned now, like, with this um, new Shinigami, I don't remember her name, whatever. Um, the story that she told is very interesting, how to kill a Shinigami by making them fall in love with a human. Basically... The only way they can die is if they is if they save a human's life. So if you save a human's life, that simply means that in turn, that simply means that you love them. Like that's the concept that they're going for. I don't think it's like an in love thing. I don't think it's like an in love, like, you know what I'm saying, romantically. I think it's like if you care enough to save that human's life, you will die because maybe... Uh, I don't know, but the concept is dope as AF. It is dope. It is dope. I love the concept. It's and their the rest of their lifespan, like the Shinigami life. So basically, if if somebody don't write her name in the death book, she can basically live forever. To be honest, let because because her Shinigami said to her that his um jealous or whatever the the shinigami that saved her his life transferred to her so she's basically immortal at this point to be like like that's what i'm deducing from it maybe i'm wrong i know you guys are going to correct me if i am but that's what i'm getting from it because she I, I, I maybe i didn't hear that correctly but i think that's what i heard and that's what i read that the the lifespan of jealous transferred 
to the person that he saved. Um, so basically, that death note is actually hers because she, she's basically a hybrid of Shinigami and human right now. In at least that's what I'm thinking. So basically, it's not even the Shinigami that brought the death note. The death note actually belongs to her because it belonged to Jealous. So, ah, man, there's so many ways that this story can go from 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 this point i mean this is how you know about brilliant writing is when you don't write write your story and lead yourself into a corner right when you when you write stories and it leads into a corner where it's like you have to write open-ended stories if you want to keep writing right because when you write yourself into a corner everybody can predict your ending if, if you're writing yourself and you leave so many different directions and where the story can go, nobody can predict your ending. Because you get what I'm saying? Because it's just like that. That's how that's how you know you're reading a good story when you're like, he could do that, but, but maybe he won't do that. Or maybe he'll do this, but he probably will do that. You see, when you have people doing that, you have something great. You have a great story that you're telling, man. I'm telling you, man. This, this, uh, the ep these two episodes were so good. <laughs> they were off the chain, bro. Like I can't stop giving this anime props. I might just shove it up to the number two. You know what I'm saying? Um. Oh my God, man. This this anime is so good, and I still don't see the ending yet. So I can't, I can't put it. Uh, up there with the code Gias yet the code Gias man the original um season one and two of code of code Ge Gias not the movies not the uh, or the nothing else just them two seasons Lelouch is on another level the sacrifices that he's made keeping everybody so oblivious to what he what he did in the end even me <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's just i mean i cried at the at the end of code gias i mean i teared up uh, um at the end so it's like i don't see a happy ending with this one i don't see a happy ending um not saying that code gias had a, a happy ending um it it was a satisfying ending for code gias as in you get it you get what I'm saying? You understand the situation, what the sacrifice he made. I, I don't want to be talking about Code Geass on this, but you guys know what I'm talking about. If you have not watched Code Geass, please go check it out on the channel. Please go check it out if you have not watched it. One of the greatest animes of all times. Hands down. I don't care what nobody else says. <laughs> okay? Um, so... Yeah, man, that note up there, man. I got to go do Hunter Hunter now. So, whew, oh, my God, this anime is, is going to wear my brain out. You have to take deep breaths before you do do some mental push-ups before you come and watch this anime, man. Because it keeps you, it keeps your brain like this. You got to be on top of your shit to watch this anime, man. Um... Thank you guys for watching as always, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. It's been cool. And you guys, man, love you guys so much, man. Thanks for all the love, appreciation y'all showed um, on that quick update video. No, I needed a couple days rest or whatever. Um, I had a day and I took an extra day. <laughs> okay. Uh, just wasn't feeling it yesterday to do any to do any reactions and I said let me just relax and just come back on Wednesday hopefully you guys didn't have to wait for too long um thank you guys for watching as always just remember you are terror squad I am mr terabyte reacts thank you guys so much for this suggestion once again man it's so good it is so good it is so good thank you guys so much it's been real thanks for watching peace